This is going to be the first run up of domestic hot water with a 7 kilowatt Valent Aerotherm Plus and a 200 litre hot water cylinder. So let's have a look and go through some settings, see where we are first. So let's go in, control, hot water on manual, set temperature 50 degrees C, we're starting at 11. Let's go down to the settings, show you what they're set up. So you see we're looking for a target flow temperature of 58 degrees C, Legionella switched off, charging hysteresis 8K, cylinder charging offset 8, max running time 120, anti-cycle zero. Okay, so just wait for the heat pump to kick in, get the tap symbol up on there, and we'll start a stopwatch. We also have a nice shiny new electric meter fitted here so we can see how much energy it uses charging the hot water cylinder from 11 degrees C to 50 degrees C. So tap symbols just appeared now, we'll start the stopwatch. Let's see how long it takes to heat from 11 degrees C to 50 degrees C. Okay, so we're five minutes in now. You can see we're doing hot water still. Let's go through the live monitor to see what's going on. Press is active, water pressure is good. Flow rates are good. Target flow temp of 58, current flow temp 20. Keep going through. We're using 800 watts at the moment. Compressor modulation is at 50%. We'll appear onto the control. When it loads up, outdoor temperature is 11 degrees C. Let's go into information, current temperatures. We see we got up one degree C in five minutes. Let's see how much electric we've used. Okay, so coming up to the meter now for the heat pump, we can see we've used 0.07 kilowatts of electric so far. Let's keep going. Right, 10 minutes in, we can see compressor modulations at 50%. We'll back one, we can see powers at 900 watts. Let's see what the cylinders are. Cylinders at 13 degrees C. Let's check the electric meter. The electric meter, we've been running for 10 minutes now and we are 0 0.14 kilowatts. So far, 10 minutes in. And gone up two degrees C on the temperature. So here she is running. Nice and quiet. It only comes up on the decibel meter when I'm talking. 20 minutes into the test now, we can see hot water is at 17 degrees C. Power consumption, one kilowatt. Compressor modulation is still 50%. Let's check the power consumed. Okay, power consumed after 20 minutes. I don't know if you can make it out, but we're 0 0.30 kilowatts or 300 watts so far for 20 minutes running. Okay, so we've been running for 30 minutes now. We started at 11 degrees C in the hot water cylinder. Let's go down to information, current temperatures. We're now at 20 degrees C, so a nine degrees C increase. 1.1 on the power consumption. Modulation still at 50%. Electric meter now is reading 0.48 kilowatts. So we're still under half a kilowatt so far. Let's keep it going. Okay, 40 minutes in now. Let's have a look and see how we're doing. So our hot water temperature is now at 23 degrees C from 11. Power consumption, 1.2 kilowatts. Modulation is still 50%. Let's check how much power we've actually used. Over at the, over at the electric meter now, we are at, I don't know if you can quite make it out, 0 0.67 kilowatts, so 670 watts so far. And as we can see, she's still nice and quiet. Okay, 50 minutes in now. We're up to 27 degrees C. Electrical consumption 1.3. Compressor modulation still 50%. Okay, let's have a look at the electric meter. So looking at the meter now, we have consumed 
can't quite make that out. 0 0.88 kilowatts so far, or 880 watts. Not bad. Okay, just coming up to an hour now. Hot water temperature is 29 degrees C. Power consumption is 1.3 still. Compressor modulation still at 50%. And looking at the meter, we've used 1.1 kilowatt of electric so far. Okay, one hour, 10 minutes in. Hot water temperature 32 degrees C. Power consumption 1.4. Modulation 50%. Let's check the electric meter. Okay, so the electric meter's at 1.34 kilowatts. So that's not too bad, really, starting from 11 degrees C. Still ticking over nice and quiet. Now just coming up to an hour and a half in. We're at 38 degrees C. Power electrical consumption. 1.6 kilowatt, modulation still at 50%. Let's check how much power we've used. Looking at the meter, 1.85 kilowatts of electric use so far. Just over one hour, 50 minutes, 43 degrees C. Power consumption is now all the way up to 1.8. Modulation 50%. And we've used 2.48 kilowatts of electric so far to get from 11 degrees C to 43. Okay, we're coming up to two hours of running now. We're now at 46 degrees C, power consumption 1.9. Modulation 50%, let's check how much we've used. Okay, can't quite make it out again, but it's about 2.76 kilowatts of electric so far. To be fair, she's still nice and quiet. Okay, we've just hit 50 degrees C now. That's two hours, 16 minutes to get from 11 degrees C to 50. Cylinder temperature, cylinder temperature. Let's see how much electric we've used. Okay, can't quite make it up. But we've used 3.32 kilowatts of electricity to heat the hot water from 11 degrees C to 50 degrees C. So in conclusion, what we have to remember is that this was from cold, so it'll take a lot longer and use a lot more energy than the standard recharge of 45 degrees C start temperature and 50 degrees C stop temperature. This is also a 200 litre cylinder, which is a really good size. And the hot water sensor is situated about a third of the way up from the bottom, meaning everything above that sensor will be hotter than the set temperature. Hope this has been useful.